fantastic to be here today in Berlin. Today I'm here with Duster. Duster Rojo Tequila is a, a five new product line, which has a Blanco, Repo, Añejo, a pineapple version, an apomado version, and today we're adding a sixth skew to that, which is mezcal. It has won 26 awards since its inception. We produce it in uh, Tequila, Mexico, where we have our own tequila plant, which is currently operated with a massive distiller who has over 45 years of uh, distillery experience. The brand itself, uh, what I like about it and what makes me happy to work with the brand is that obviously we're made in Mexico, right? But uh, all of the Mexican heritage, we try to keep away a little bit from the brand and don't kind of try to be ourselves like loaded with sarapes and mustache and, you know, mariachis around us. We are kind of like for cocktail bartenders. We are for, I would maybe say even for nightclubs as well, like pouring tequila. Bartenders have a chance to play around with it. And it's not all about the liquid, it's also about the packaging. So the bottle, you know, it's a, the shape of the bottle. It's easy to grab. You can do this, you can do that. You can do like, like, like spins and something like that. So also for player bartenders, it is kind of, Candy, yeah? It fits in your speed rail, uh, which most of the tequilas probably would not really spin in your, if, uh, like, you know, fit in your speed rail because of the size. No, BCB is amazing. I mean, this is our um, third year as we have our designated stand booth here. Um, and uh, every single year it gets bigger and bigger from our perspective for sure. This year we are launching our mezcal. Mezcal can be so versatile in terms of like what agave have you used as like for the base, like the raw material for that. And that is the, the, the most important thing that actually changes the game in the liquid itself. If we have a few cocktails that we put out here is uh, our Oaxacan Maria, which is a twist on Bloody Mary, obviously. The recipe was born at Palenque. People can try it neat as well if they want. I would say we try to deliver the Oaxacan message, Oaxacan habitat of enjoying mezcal. Mezcal is a sipping drink. There's like so much effort put behind to produce it. Artisanal means it's handcrafted, but production process, it's done by hand. And what I would like to encourage, and I would like to, I'm, I'm begging, is enjoy it. Do not shoot it. Sip it. Enjoy the flavors. Like, try to find like, you know, all these kind of hidden notes of whatever it delivers. A different mezcal, different agave delivers different things though. But still, seek. Yeah, and knows it, sip it. It's still mezcal at the end of the day, and it's fresh, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And we are cool, we are cool at the end of the day, you know. <laughs>